pretty shitty outside right now. And that's a shame because right here is a 2016 Jaguar F-Type convertible. The top has stayed up. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun in a car like this. It used to be that when you got the R, and this is the R, you'd be stuck with rear wheel drive. I shouldn't say stuck because that car is awesome. But here in Southern California where it never really rains, you don't need all wheel drive. But now with the R, you can only get it in all wheel drive. Today's the type of day that proves maybe that's a good thing. Regardless, even if the sun was shining, even if the winds were blowing, no matter what the weather, we're gonna still go out and have fun in a car like this, no matter what the car is. So let's saddle up and ride. It's a rare rainy day here in Southern California. It's windy. It's gray. It's British, actually. So maybe it's fitting for a car like this. For 2016, Jack changed the F-Type up. They added all-wheel drive here. They call it instinctive all-wheel drive. It's instinctive. It has ESPs. It's a precog to solve crimes. One thing they didn't change is that absolutely crazy engine and exhaust note. This is the best sounding new car that you can buy. Period. There's no discussion. I know people who have driven stock F-types and been pulled over because the cops thought there was an aftermarket exhaust that was too loud. Symphony of machine gun heaven or hell, if you will. Whichever one you want to go to, that's where this car takes you. Under the hood is a five liter supercharged V8 engine. Makes 550 horsepower, some number of torque, and it sends it out to the aforementioned all wheel drive system. It's a rear biased all wheel drive system, so there is a performance option at play here. That's good. I've driven this car in the dry and it'll step out. It'll step way out, especially if you turn traction control all the way off. That's a lot of horsepower and it, again, it's biased to the rear. So this thing will dance just as much as the old one would. You can't sit there and do brake stands like you could with the old car, but there's still plenty of fun to be had. As the cliched automotive journalist would say, these cats claws. This, this cat hasn't been declawed. Oh. The noise! This car gets up and goes so quickly. Zero to 60 happens in around three and a half, 3.7 seconds. Top speed is some, you know, super ungodly number, which would probably get a bit scary because this thing does have a short wheelbase and it'll get twitchy up here. Now, what the all-wheel drive system does for the R convertible is open it up to a greater swath of the world. Those in the snow belt will be like, oh, maybe I can take my 550 horsepower car to work now. I mean, just get winter tires and you can take the rear wheel drive version too if you're careful on the throttle and quick with your hands. But now here's an added measure of comfort and security. Oh yes, this, it's just a glorious, glorious, glorious machine. Handling the power distribution from the engine is an eight-speed quick shift gearbox, and it shifts quickly. You know, it was named correctly. It does good things here. This isn't like the GM eight-speed in the ATSV, although well, one of the CTSV feels better. It's quick, it's responsive, and it allows you to snap off those downshifts to hear that engine scream and burble and make just delicious scrum tralescent noise. Let's see what happens if we put it into DSC track.
that noise never gets old. The fact that it has a button to quiet is merely to make your neighbors happy so they don't hate you every time you start this thing up. If I owned this car, that button would be broken. It would be permanently on. F-Type is one of the few cars that's as fun to be on the gas as it is to let off of it. I'll explain that here. So, oh, great noise. It sounds like a machine gun. It sounds like someone is firing anti-aircraft weaponry outside of this car when I let off the throttle. Another thing I love about the F-Type is how well sorted the cabin space is. This, this cabin space is very driver focused. There's a bar right here that basically tells the passenger to can lay your hands off. This is my shit. I got it under control. The nav screen works great. Uh, gone are the days past where Jag made clunky stuff. This looks and works well. I have heated seats. I've got a really cool joystick here, which you know lends credence to the fighter jet cockpit. Another cliche, but it works here with this joystick. Pop this toggle switch down into dynamic mode. I love the other toggle switches, which is more of that jet fighter cliche, but it works. It works very well here. I have the car in dynamic mode, so the center stack, so the center gauge here is glowing red with a big indicator. You're in fourth gear, bro. I think it does, well, no, it's British, so it would say bro. I can't, I'm not gonna try to do a British accent. The California coast is doing the British impression for me. I'm just letting the car howl and wail and fight against the tyranny of this weather with its instinctive all-wheel drive, it's doing that quite well. Oh, yes. Let's get on it. Just I could see how this car would send you to jail very quickly. Not just the speed, just general public nuisance and noise disorders and all kinds of awesome, just rap, plop, snap. I love it. I love everything about this car. The only thing I don't love about it is that I can't afford it. Base price of the R convertible is around. See, traction caught it a little bit there, but let me step out. The base price, I had to do that. Base price of the R convertible is around $106,000. This car as equipped is $112,000. So it's got fancy leathers. So, are you getting a hell of a deal at that price? I think so. Now you can compare it to the Z06, which has 100 more horsepower. Uh, it's got much more aggressive bodywork, even though this thing is a stunner on the outside. It's, it's, it'll probably whoop its ass on a racetrack, but it's not an F-Type. It doesn't have that noise. This car sounds better than the Z06, and the Z06 sounds great. It's not always about winning races or being the fastest or having the best argument on paper. Which I find a lot on the internet. Ah, that car has this number, so it must suck, even though I've never driven it. I get that a lot. There's something more exciting about this car. I bet if you take the average automotive enthusiast and say, hey, here, spend 30 minutes with a Z06, just cruising around your town. All right, now spend 30 minutes with an Aston Martin Vantage V8 GT. All right, now spend 30 minutes with a Porsche 911. Now spend 30 minutes with the F-Type. And if you've been a fan of this channel, you know I love Aston Martins. And the V8 Vantage GT remains a tremendous deal. $99,000 starting price. I guarantee the average person, the average automotive enthusiast, will come back after driving those cars for that period of time and be like, all right, F-Type for me. They don't want the car to be loud. They just want to relax. You want to have a nice quiet time. You hit the button to quiet the exhaust back up. You take it out of dynamic mode. You let the eight speed do its own thing. The steering lightens up because it's definitely stiffer in dynamic mode. It 
makes the whole affair a little bit more regal, a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more classic Jaguar. Then, once the date is over and you know the next day follows and you want to go run the canyons, the ripped snarling beast returns to life and your F-type that you want is ready and raring to go. Do I wish they still offer the rear-wheel drive one? Of course I do. I'm an idiot. I would just sit there and ruin tires all day long in that car if I could afford them. I love the rear-wheel drive R. Cool. It's like James Bond meets Mad Max. That's, a, that's probably a good way to describe this car. James Bond meets Mad Max. So controlled, even in the wet. Though I do have track DSC on, not full track off. In dry track off, again, control. The wet adds an extra layer of complexity that I'm not willing to explore around my local town and local police department. Jaguar! Jaguar! I love the Jaguar F-Type. That's 16 grapples. Oh. Uh, hey, Morty, uh, I'm going to take the jack out. <laughs>